Hey, how's it going? Ben here. I'm back with the September update for my stock photography. Uh, so in these videos, I like to review uh, the previous month's stock photography activity and um, have a look at how much we made and what images got downloaded. So pretty good month this month, all things considered, uh, much higher than my usual. Uh, this month, well, last month in September, we made $6.45 cent so pretty big i uh, i'm always happy when we get more than five dollars uh, it makes it feel worthwhile doing um this month the majority of the money came from adobe stock six dollars 25 cents came from adobe stock and then we got 20 cent from uh, shutterstock and zero from alamy becoming a bit of a trend um but yeah, pretty good. Um, I think there was two downloads on Shutterstock, two downloads for 10 cents each on Shutterstock. And I think we might have got five, five downloads on Adobe Stock. Um, and yeah, it's difficult to tell. They're different priced. I think, you know, it ranged from around $1 something for an image to around 33 cents was like the lowest I got paid. But yeah, very happy about Adobe. Um, we've made a lot more than we've had in previous months combined. So. Yeah, pretty happy with the um, uh, stock photography this month. Let's jump into the computer and have a look at the spreadsheet. Um, all right, so yeah, pretty simple to see. So um, up here, you should be able to see should have stock 20 cents. Like I said, I think we got two downloads um, for 10 cents each from should have stock. Uh, not terrible, not great. Uh, so yeah, average should have stock return really if I'm honest. Um, Adobe stock we had a really good really strong um, month for Adobe stock we got six dollars and 25 cents from Adobe. 97 percent of our income this month from Adobe as you can see by this uh, beautiful pie chart and I've sorted out the colors for them as well which is cool. Uh, last, last time I was a bit upset I couldn't figure out how to um, customize the um, color themes for the charts in uh, Excel, but yeah, this month I managed to do it and I even changed the color of the text. So we've gone for Shutter Stock in red, Adobe Blue and Alamy Green. So yeah, 97% income from Adobe, 3% from Shutter Stock with 20 cents and that zero is of course for Alamy with, um, we're yet to get any downloads from Alamy. And if we compare that to last month, um, yeah, the last month we got 45 cents from Shutter Stock, zero from Adobe. Um, uh, so total 45 cents so it's a massive uh, increase really from previous month and even from a few of the last months added together we've done much better uh, thanks to adobe stock basically i am having a bumper month on adobe which is great why don't we have a look at some of the images that got downloaded so we can start with um, shutterstock and here we are on Shutterstock. So you can see the total unpaid earnings now up above $20. Very, exci very exciting times. Um, hopefully I'll be getting a payout soon. <laughs> My first payout after almost two years on, on Shutterstock. But we're still growing, still learning, still having lots of fun. But yeah, so let's have a look at some of the images that got downloaded. So the first image on the 1st of September, are interesting, both of them really early in September. So um, the first image in the 1st of September was this image. Um, yeah, once again, an image from Media City in Manchester, uh, those sunset images down by the um, ship canal, the, the old keys with the uh, War Museum uh, and the BBC building and the pretty uh, cool an unusual reflection in a handrail. Pretty good composition. Um, like I said, when I took these photographs, I was studying at college, um, studying photography. So, and these these set were used as an assignment for my college. I remember handing these in and then getting pretty good, pretty good reviews from my teachers. So they must be all right. At that time, I was um, sort of learning about composition and learning about at different times and when it's best to take photos. So. Fortunately, I seem to uh, use what I was uh, learning at the time. Maybe I need to refresh my memory a little bit, but I was definitely had a lot of things. You know, there's a lot of um, different lines. Um, there's diagonal lines. 
the, the image is split into composition. Uh, so they've, they've even tried to get sort of the rule of thirds going vertically as well as horizontally. Uh, so yeah, it's a pretty interesting image. Very lucky with the um, sky that evening as well. Um, lots of colors. And I think the reflections as well, I think they add something to the images. So yeah, that was, um, that was a pretty good image. I'm very happy with that one. Happy to get uh, some money coming in from those images. I think that image has definitely been downloaded before. Yeah, if we look down here at the best for performers. Oh, that is my best performing image. Yeah, that is my best performing image. Is that all time? I believe it is, yeah, images all time. That image has had seven downloads uh, on Shutterstock alone and has made me $4.37. So yeah, pretty good image. Definitely need to try and take more uh, photographs like that image. Interesting. So yeah, uh, top performer there for me with another 10 cent being downloaded in Wembley, UK. Um, so the other image that got downloaded, so this was on the second, the day after, so the first and the second of uh, September, we got some downloads. So this image is a landscape image of Liverpool so the previous one was kind of a landscape of Manchester. This one is of Liverpool. Um, and this image is actually taken not in Liverpool. I was in um, New Brighton, which is a seaside town not far from Liverpool. It's kind of on the other side of the Mersey. This is the um, River Mersey where it joins the ocean or the sea, whatever. And yeah, so it's sort of like a long distance shot of Liverpool. The landscape's really flattened out. It was taken with a long telephoto lens, so it kind of flattened out the uh, image. And yeah, I actually think this is a pretty cool image. Uh, maybe it's not, I don't think I really had a good idea what I was trying to do at the time. I probably could have done with a filter. It's quite a bright day. Uh, there's not much detail in the sky or sea. It probably wasn't taken on a great camera either, because I think I was. this was quite a few years ago. So it's a shame that it's not a better image because I think there could be a great image taken from this location. Um, so yeah, this one, another image. Uh, downloaded in Chester in the UK once again uh, for 10 cents. Before moving on uh, and looking at the images on Adobe, I thought it was um, kind of interesting to point out that the two images that got downloaded on Shutterstock, so we had that image of Manchester at Media City, quite a famous um, and well-photographed area of uh, the city of Manchester, kind of iconic uh, urban landscape there that's very popular. Similar with the image of the landscape shot of Liverpool, so you have the full sort of cityscape from a pretty far uh, distance. I think it's interesting that these two landscapes are very location specific. And uh, in my research and speaking with some people in the comment sections uh, on this channel, I've come to the conclusion and they've helped me realize that if you're doing landscape photo photography, um, so the location is everything in terms of stock photography. So uh, what that means is the people who search for these images and use them for blogs or whatever they're using them for, will probably have a location in mind. Maybe it's a news story or a blog post about a place, um, or maybe it's just a business from that location, from that city, from that area. So if you're in Liverpool, you have a story about Liverpool, you're going to search Liverpool landscape, cityscape in the stock size, and then those images will uh, be there. And that's what they'll be looking for. They'll be specifically looking for that location. So if you, what I'm trying to say is if you get to a kind of a famous city, a popular city with lots of um, activity, or there's a strong image or a strong uh, culture from that city, you might be able to sell them. And that makes sense with these cities that I photographed and that got downloaded this month when you're talking about Manchester and Liverpool. Both have very strong identities and both have like quite unique visuals. So I think that is um, something worth pointing out and remembering. Next, let's have a look at our big earner this month and have a look at the downloads that were made on Adobe stock. So let's uh, do that now. All right, yeah, so as you can see, um, plenty of downloads on Adobe stock for the month of September. And it's also worth noticing, or well, maybe. <laughs> uh, I've been on Adobe for one year 
Um, I've been on Shutterstock for two years now and I'm nearly caught up my total earnings um, of Shutterstock on Adobe already. And I've been on here a much shorter time, so that's pretty interesting. Uh, maybe it's worth you noticing if you're planning on starting out on um, stock photography, I would definitely recommend you start on Adobe um, because it's been such a higher earner for me. So here you can see the payout in the top right hand corner. Um, so that's $19.70. That's my total earnings um, that I've made on Adobe from downloads. And if we go back to Shutterstock, you can see I'm at $20.22. So I'm, yeah, I'm less than a dollar behind. And I've been on Shutterstock for a year longer. So, yeah, that's uh, interesting. Perhaps. So let's have a look at some of the downloads. Um, so three images were downloaded from Adobe. Um, some of them multiple times, I believe. So I think... Um, it's difficult to see the breakdown, but it says I have earnings $6.25 this month and five downloads. I th would guess that the top image has been downloaded three times, second um, once, and the third once, perhaps. Um, but that might not be the case, so I don't know how it exactly breaks down. Um, but yeah, so let's start with the one that looks like it's been downloaded three times. So this image, this... Um, yeah, this is one of my favorite images. This image has made a lot on Adobe as well, so maybe this is the type of image that does well on Adobe. Um, once again, Media City, Manchester, uh, Sunset. When I was studying at college, I've said that a million times. I've also said about this image, I love the way the sky is split between the sort of red on the right, blue on the left, and it's divided right in the middle by the bridge. Um, and you've got some iconic images iconic architecture from the Greater Manchester area and those um, reflections. So yeah, that's um, been a very strong image for me, probably one of the better images I've taken. And this month I earned $5.26 from this image on Adobe Stock. Um, another very similar image. I wonder if this was downloaded by uh, similar people. So yeah, same, same bridge, same area, just a sort of different crop, not a panorama, just the bridge, same sky. Um, but yeah, 66 cents from this image. And the third image, um, I've not had many downloads on these images. It's, I mean, this might be the first time on Adobe. Um, but yeah, you can see, um, this is actually, we actually um, went out in some canoes uh, on a holiday in Wales. And um, yeah, this is a member of my family out at the sea on a canoe. <laughs> Pretty interesting. Uh, image. I remember this was taken with my Panasonic Micro Four Thirds camera, nothing too special, but I did have a very long uh, telephoto lens for it. And I think I was, uh, this was the first time I was experimenting with that lens. And it, yeah, I got some interesting images. This is pretty cool. Um, split, interestingly, I guess, um, between our vertical uh, rules of third and then a very small, I, I, you can see how I've tried to line it up using the rules of third, uh, thirds, like horizontally, the line, and then vertically, and then on that pinpoint, I've tried to get the canoe, and then on the top third, I've tried to split the sky and the ocean. So it's a pretty um, minimalist image, I would say. Reasonable lighting, quite nice colors, not taken on a tremendously good camera. But yeah, 33 cents from that image this month, so not bad at all. And like I said, I'm over the moon, over the moon with uh, Adobe Start this month. Pretty good earnings, to say the least, for me. Very happy with the income from stock photography this month. Uh, like I said, this is a particularly high month for me. So we're doing pretty well, I guess. Um, I wish every month was like this, but that's how it goes. Some months are much better than others. So we, yeah, like I said before, $6.45 for the month of September. And hopefully that will uh, continue. I hope to get a few downloads this month. That would be great. Uh, I've also been planning some images. So I've taken some images earlier that aren't ready to upload. So um, hopefully I'll have them up. Well, I will, I'll definitely get them uploaded soon. Um, because I took some images of me wearing a mask. Uh, just sat around the house, just inside. Uh, so I don't know if they'll get downloads, but maybe they will. Um, I mentioned previously that I think the images that do well on stock sites, especially like editorials, 
our photos with people in so I'm starting to try and get some pictures of people in starting with myself and also look at some of the trends so um, in the comments last month uh, I was speaking to a few people and they were saying that masked images were doing really well for them makes sense right with the pandemic I kind of thought about it but I then I sort of second guessed myself and thought well I probably missed that trend I'm not sure people are still downloading images of masks but I was informed that that is not the case so hopefully I'll uh, get a bit of a quick turnaround on these images um, and get them uploaded as soon as I can because I think that we are getting towards the end of the pandemic and the demand for mass photos will start to decline soon probably I would imagine I'm not sure um, but yeah I'm definitely going to try and upload those images um, I've also been thinking about going out and Again, this is an idea that came from the comment sections in one of my previous videos. I'm getting some storefront um, photos. So people have told me that sometimes for them, images of shops and uh, restaurants and other businesses do really well. And so I've been trying to think about some ideas. Um, I live in Thailand and one of the big international brands that seems to be everywhere is 7-Eleven. So I could probably go out and get some pictures of 7-Elevens and try and upload them and see if they get downloads because I do need to start figuring out what type of images um, sell well. Those have been recommended, so like portraits. Uh, following trends like mass right now, I'd probably say mass still, are gonna be getting you downloads and I'm gonna try um, a business storefront uh, sort of photo set and try and get them uploaded as well this month. If I can, we'll try and get a few things uploaded and experiment see if any of those start doing better um, because it would be good to increase and improve the images that I'm getting on, uh, on Shutterstock and the, in turn the income. That'd be really cool if we could start increasing that. As I've mentioned, I've had multiple um, good ideas come from the comment sections of these videos recently and I'd love to let that to continue. So if you have any advice on what type of images I should be taking, uh, any feedback on the images that you've seen that are getting downloaded, uh, let me know in the comment section. I'd love to hear what images um, sell well for you, what type of images, uh, sort of locations or any ideas you have, any trends you've noticed. So we spoke about the mask trend right now seems to be good. Um, I'm not sure what will be next. I guess we're coming to the end of the pandemic. If anyone has any ideas about that or any niche that you're involved with, I'd love to hear it. And also what stock sites you recommend um, for me. It definitely seems that Adobe is the much bigger earner, but I'm only on free. I only have exposure to free sites. I have um, Shutterstock, Adobe Stock, and Alamy. And like I mentioned, I've yet to make, um, so I've nearly been on Alamy for almost a year, yet to make any money uh, on Alamy. I hear that's kind of um, common, I think, uh, for Alamy. The downloads seem to be less which may or may not be good because apparently if you do get a download, the um, price is often much higher. So we, who knows, maybe we get a download on Alamy at the end of the year that could uh, blow the other sites out of the water just by um, the actual price, which may make it a better site. But for me so far, it's definitely not. So maybe I should look to add another um, stock site on. So if you have any recommendations, uh, please let me know in the comment section below. I'd love to hear what website you're uploading to and what images do well for you. All right, that's everything for the September update. I think I've spoken enough. Um, I need to get those images of those masks edited and uploaded, and I need to head out and get some pictures of 7-Eleven. That's my uh, assignment for this month. I didn't upload this month, which is uh, probably not great, especially if there's an algorithm. But thanks a lot for watching, as always. If you enjoyed this video um, or you found it useful, please hit the like button. And if like I mentioned, you have any advice, uh, you want to recommend any stock sites or any niches or any style of photography that you use, let me know in the comment section below. And if you are a beginner stock photographer or you want to get involved or you are involved, then consider subscribing because I talk about it a lot on this channel. Thanks a lot for watching and I'll see you next time. Thank you very much. Goodbye.